Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss one very important question which is frequently asked in machine learning related interview process and that is whether feature scaling is required in decision tree algorithm or not. Okay, so pause my video, try to think about the answer for a while and then check whether you have identified the correct answer or not. Here I am explaining. Okay, so the answer is for decision tree, feature scaling is not required, whether you are considering classification or you are considering regression, okay? So let's try to recall why we have used feature scaling in different algorithms, okay? So if you just recall my previous video where I have explained why feature scaling is required, okay, I have taken this particular example where one feature is age, another feature is salary, okay? Ages is very small compared to salary, right? It, may, it mostly two digit or maximum it go to near to hundred, okay? But salary, see like here seventy two thousand forty eight thousand, it can be even more than this. Now suppose you are having these two features only, okay? And you are applying some distance based algorithm that is for those machine learning model for which uh, internally distance is calculated that may be equivalent distance or some other distance okay like you can consider k nearest neighbor or k means or support vector machine right all this internally we calculate distance right with respect to training data points now suppose you are having these two input feature when you are calculating distance in two dimensional plane suppose x axis is age y axis is salary and these are my two data points x1 y1 x2 y2 so distance obviously Euclidean distance is going to be x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square or we can say x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right now consider this data set first data point 1 and 3 age is 44 and 30 salary 72,000 and 54,000 you calculate Euclidean distance what you will be getting square root of 44 minus 30 whole square plus 72,000 minus 54,000 whole square he will be getting this value see 44 minus 30 whole square leading to only 196 very small value but 72,000 minus 54,000 that whole square when you are doing you are getting this much big value and compared to the second term the first term is negligible so the difference in between age is not affecting our uh, distance calculation that much so one feature we are like neglecting in this particular distance calculation right this is injustice that's why we do feature scaling so that all the features while calculating distance get equal priority right so that's why we require feature scaling but this is only for those machine learning algorithms for which we need to calculate distance okay so based on whether we require to calculate distance or not we can broadly classify our machine learning different machine learning algorithms like this one is distance based algorithm like k nearest neighbor svm k means etc another one is non distance based model okay and this is entry comes under non distance based model if you recall my previous video discussion where i have explained this is how this entry classifier works what is the intuition behind this is entry regression nowhere i have uh, used this term distance calculation because it is not used in this particular algorithm right so that's why decision entry is non-distance based model and as this is non-distance based model so we no need to think about feature scaling because feature scaling is required to give equal priority or uh, equal weightage while calculating distance in the distance based algorithms right so that's why in case of decision entry we don't require feature scaling in the data pre-processing stage okay one more simple example i can give what actually decision entry does based on certain questions okay it reached conclusion either that may be classification or regression right some decisions it take to predict something now suppose i am having one range okay suppose if our one particular feature input feature x if it is in between 50 and 100 then our decision tree classifier will classify that particular data set belonging to class a or maybe like if you are considering regression problem if this particular feature x is belonging to 50 to 100 then our decision tree regressor is going to predict the value as 4.3 
Now suppose you are applying feature scaling, okay? Then also the decision is not changing. See, suppose you are scaling down by 100. Then the decision, new rule for taking decision will be this 0 0.5 less than x by 100 less than 1. So see, same decision only we are uh, taking while scaling down also. So I hope you can understand the decision is basically not varying with scaling. Okay. So, the, so this is one simple example by which you can understand why decision tree in case of decision tree the feature scaling is not required because here we can see even if those all the features of x are scaling down by 100 the decision is not changing right so remember this very very important interview question that in case of decision tree feature scaling is not required right i hope you understood this this is all for my this video thank you for watching